Hello, welcome back. So, I have kind of changed my mind a bit about how I want to handle this initial phase of this part. So, I was originally thinking that we'd go and chase Blue Down, but actually thinking about it, I, I don't think we need to. I think we're about to go to a new week. We're going to have a pretty good income. We're going to have uh, a new batch of units in each town. So I think we can actually afford to use our main hero just to explore a bit more in the meantime. And we'll use, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Nagash? We'll use Nagash and we'll use Orin just to hold on to the towns that we do have. And we'll just see how it goes for a bit. We'll see if any new threats pop up. But I don't think we need to worry about blue too much. I think it's going to be more useful just to go around and pick up some useful spells and things. Gunnar is going to explore, because we haven't explored to the west yet, there might be a hero to the west, there might be uh, Isra. We don't know what happened to Isra, so Isra could pop up at any moment and cause some trouble. But Gunnar should be okay to run away. Okay, you're looking for the Pendant of Holiness, and this is a dead end. Potentially worth visiting though with the main hero just to get that extra defense skill. I did think about coming to the Necro Town, just in case they had useful spells. Haste is potentially very useful, but there's no slow. I would have preferred slow. But we might end up coming this way, you never know. Uh, we built in both towns, and I don't think there is any hero that we're desperate to have. I'm fairly happy let, uh, to let Dace disappear. So we'll go to the next turn. Blue has just run off. Uh, okay, orange. Orange is to the east. We've made it to month two. So I can't see anything so far that connects us to what we're seeing to the east there, but I wouldn't rule it out. And if anything, this direction that we're going with the main hero could be a risk. There's also this path here, past the infernal trogs. It's probably fine though. Let's uh, let's go and grab this. Teleport. So that was definitely worth going after. That's going to be a really useful spell for something slow. Although the dungeon is a fairly quick town in general. I mean, what would we really use it for? Maybe trogs, if we got a lot of trogs. But yeah, it's it's... It's maybe more useful for other towns like Fortress than it is for Dungeon, but still, it's a good spell to have. Ah, uh, this turn. So there's definitely an argument for going straight in with the resource silo. Because we don't need the Black Knights immediately. And I'm not seeing anything that particularly worries me. A horde of Gogs has just appeared there, which is going to block off whoever wants to come through. Oh, and more gogs here. Lots of gogs. So that's kind of changed the dynamic slightly. I mean, Blue might not even be able to beat that. I don't think Blue's main hero has very much at all. Uh, I would like to know what's to the east here. I'm not that confident about this yet. I would like to have an extra hero as well, just to explore this area that Jedi is currently in. Gunnar is, is at least a turn behind. So if I go north with Jedi, I might not see very much and that might waste the turn. I'm fairly confident I want to check out the Shrine of Magic Thor. I also want to probe to the east just to see if there is a way that links us up with where we just saw Orange. Let's see who Orange is as well. He's the, he's the other Necropolis player. Okay. Hmm. I will actually go north, and I think Gunner Gunner's much closer to this path here, so let's let's use him to explore. Actually. It's a little bit of a waste, but I really wanna okay. I wanted to get uh, the next level of logistics, but that's not gonna happen. Ah, uh, okay. Oh the ring of vitality. So you do get combination artifacts in this game, and I, I don't really know most of them that well, but I know if we get the Vial of Lifeblood, and the, I'm not sure if there's another one on top of that, but then you can combine them 
into one of the very powerful combination artifacts, so that might be worth going after if I fight lots of pit lords. I'm not strong enough to do that. Maybe with the death knights. Black knights. They're not upgraded yet. I don't... I don't feel like I need the Black Knights urgently. So the resource silo could be pretty useful just to help get lots of dragons in the long term. So let's start with that. And... Upgraded Mausoleum could be nice, but I don't want to spend Sulfur if I don't have to. Tomb of Souls... It's it's fairly cheap. Got six black knights available to me, six glitches. The only question is whether it's worth focusing on getting a bit of a defense built up here first. But I'm not too worried, I think I'll just spend whatever's left. And actually it's quite useful now that we have the Alchemist Lab because I, I think bone dragons, or at least ghost dragons, I think they use mercury. So that's actually going to come in pretty handy. Especially because their resource silo just gives you wood and ore. Which is good because we need the wood right now, but... Like, in a lot of games, you, you really want your resource silo to be giving you the precious resource that you need for your level 7 units. Or in... you can at least pick up a couple of things, I think. It's tempting just to go in that direction, just to explore that a little bit further. Potentially see threats coming. At least to know how many of those there are, because if there's if there's loads of them, they might actually hold enemies off. But I, I can't imagine that they would for very long. Over here, it does look like most of this stuff is unclaimed. I think I can see a guard by this windmill. Spell scroll there, clearly unclaimed, along with I think that's. Mercury or something. And a guard. So it looks like it's probably not too explored over there, but... Obviously you don't want to lose your main town. If you don't have to. Five extra sulfur, that's really nice. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just buy a few units. Or... Hmm... Can we get any gold next turn? We could if we sold Mercury and Crystal, but can we make 2,000? Because if we can, then we could go straight in, get the capital, and then we're just pretty much rich for the foreseeable future, which would be nice. Uh, okay. It could be done. But... Even though we have lots of crystal, we don't actually have a good source of crystal, and I don't want to... I don't want to go OTT with that. So I guess we will buy some defenders. And then the turn. Okay, that's bad. Okay, so red is a threat. On the upside, now we know that, so we know that we need to be buying as many units here as possible. And who have we got to recruit? Eagle Eye Specialist. Not really worth having. Potentially I could buy him just to have a second hero wandering around in my starting area. That is definitely tempting. I'm pretty worried though. Like, it's tempting to go for this windmill as well, just for a few more resources, but he's like... He's only a turn or two away, so potentially I should just go straight back. He's only level 1, but he is slightly better than the alternative. By Geon, and... I mean, Geon is just... He's got to be one of the worst heroes in the game. He's not going to be a great defender. It's got a bit more spell power, I guess, and knowledge, which you double in the Mana Vortex, but I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's worth it. Is 
Is it worth going for the harpies? No, I think we just want to go back just for safety. And just buy as many units as we can to defend. Which does stop us from building. We won't be able to build in either of our towns, but... It's worth it. Now do I want to keep exploring or do I want to come back just in case? Let's also try and establish whether whether Orange is a big threat or not. Steric Watchman. Okay. Okay, so that's a dead end, so that's that's good. We probably don't need to worry about Orange, although it looks like he's close to us, he's actually He's not that close. Realistically I think we do want to bring Jedi back. As tempting as it is to keep exploring. Is it worth going this way? No, we wouldn't win that. Hold of rocks. I don't see what those are guarding, I think they might be misplaced. Hmm, is it worth grabbing? I think it is worth grabbing that experience and then coming back. And potentially we do want to keep him fairly near to the Necro Town so that we can give him some Black Knights next turn. It's got to be worth doing. Is there anything we can buy here fairly cheap? Not really. They've got all the requirements for Bone Dragons. But they're not, they're not really that great. Okay, what we'll do is we'll send Gunner up to explore and It's a bit of a waste, because I, I don't see how Jedi would come back now. If he's going up north, not up north, up to the top, up to the surface, then he's probably going to want to go west. Finish Red off. Let's see what happens. Okay, so Red's not come just yet. Doesn't mean we're safe though. Let's do some exploring. I think I should probably get a capital next turn. No rush for castle. Although, I would prefer to have my castle, uh, my capital in my original town. On the other hand, this feels fairly well defended now. And we can go straight in. And that's going to be a few a few extra thousand gold much sooner in the game oh and that's also very tempting so how much are we making? 6,300 so we could go down to like 3,700 and still have enough of the capital next turn but then we wouldn't be able to buy the Dread Knights unless we delay it by one extra turn Seems worth doing because having a load of Dread Knights would be very good. They are just extremely good units. They can do that double damage, which is nice. They've got a little bit more speed. And that potential for double damage. It's got to be worth it. But do we? We can't buy them all now anyway. Hmm. There is some argument for sending Jedi down south and picking up those extra spells and extra defense point there. But no, I think we have to play it safer. I would like to take out the Nomads, I'm not sure if that's smart only 16 spell points. I can't really remember Nomad's stats. I feel like we could do it though. This could be a mistake. Okay. Okay, they're not that strong. Yeah, okay, they're not really any stronger than mummies, really. 
much faster though. We can also resurrect. Got just enough for that. Seven speed, we're ten. In our native terrain as well, which is nice. Okay, we're going to take a, a nasty hit here. And whoever they hit is probably the stack we want to heal up. Or resurrect, I should say. Are they both a th Hmm. Okay. So this stack here is a threat to both the Harpies and the Medusas. This stack is only a threat to the Medusas. But it's much stronger. I think we just want to even them out fairly evenly. How can we block him? So we've got three here that we can move. I think it's worth doing. Okay, so what I should have done actually is I should have attacked this one and just blocked this one, which I have done, but it's, it's too little too late now. That's fine, I think we should be able to resurrect whatever we lose. I know I can't protect anyone with that stack there, so let's just see what he does. He actually goes for the one, and he's still going for the one. Okay. So he kind of let me have that. Uh, okay. I see what I need to do. How much are you going to do? You're not going to kill two. You just need to weaken these, and then we should be able to fly the other one in just to block. Now who did they weaken? They didn't... I don't think it's even worth resurrecting. We could get one unit back. On the assumption that we're going back to the town to get all our spell points back. But no. It's not worth it. Let's grab this. What's that going to give us? That is going to give us... Extra 4th level units, which is, I believe, Medusas? Yeah. Okay, so that's an extra... An extra 3 Medusas per week. I don't think it stacks with the castle or anything like that. But whoever we leave defending there will get a couple of extra units per turn. Uh, per, per week. In the meantime, we should probably get something, maybe Academy. It does use up all our wood though, it's not ideal. But honestly, like, it's diminishing returns if you don't get it fairly on in the game, so let's do it. And buy four of those, and a few trogs. And that should put up a, a decent defense. Like, I don't have a castle, which is a bit of a shame, but... With the added fortifications from the Citadel... Might be able to hold off a, a fairly decent army with that. Potentially don't even need to rush Jedi back.
It's in the turn. Red's not coming yet. Now is it worth risking him just to see what we're actually protected by here? Or I could even buy another hero to check it out for me. And this guy would come with a few units. And I would rather risk him. So let's do that. I guess if I gave him sorcery, I mean this is very, very unlikely, but if I gave him sorcery and then gave him some black dragons and gave him the Armageddon spell, you never know, he could be useful for something. But if nothing else, it's a few extra units. Now let's see what we can see. Lots of evil eyes, that's that's really not much of a defense at all. They're probably gonna come straight through there at some point if I don't go and finish them off first. On the other hand, I don't really want to let Jedi run off without his Dread Knights. But I also want a capital. And maybe, maybe we just leave the Dread Knights with the Necro Town and let them, let them be used to defend it. And then we won't need to come running back with Jedi if something goes wrong. I think that's probably the best option. And there's not too much up here really. Nagash. Do we want to start doing things with Nagash? In theory this base is fairly well protected now that we've got a couple of extra gogs. Stacks of gogs to, uh, to guard us. We can probably afford to explore a little bit. Now do we want to take out the dragonflies? They are very fast. So they'll come in and get a few hits off. But we get a steady flow of gems, we're pretty low on gems right now. And I do want to upgrade the Mage's Guild. We've got some more crystal there. And that's up for grabs. There's also a crystal mine underground. We've got sulfur coming in from the resource silo. So we've got a, a decent supply of pretty much everything, so there is an argument. On the other hand, if you go to the grasslands, you'll often find leprechauns all over the place, and they will give you gems about half the time you visit them. I do, though. I do have that extra resurrection. Yeah, let's do it. It's definitely winnable. <laughs> well, yeah. Of course it is. I mean, that's the lowest possible number as well, to be lots. Only 20 of them. Why lose anything, though? I might as well attack them. Okay. How many did the Harpy Hags kill? They killed four. These killed seven, so if I attack, I shouldn't be at risk of finishing them off with a retaliation. Let's do it. Okay. That was maybe a mistake. They only got one though, it's fine. Oh man. 
So this actually does raise a, a fairly interesting point, which is that there are actually two resurrection specialists in the game. There's Jedi and there's Alamar. And I know a lot of people like Alamar because Alamar comes with Scholar. So he can go around teaching resurrection to pretty much everyone. Which would be useful on a map like this because it's it's a very large map and we're probably going to have more than one decent hero. On the other hand, Ballistics is nice just to take out enemy towns more easily. Although, if we've got Black Dragons and Harpy Hags, do we really need that? And we've got Manticles as well. But I just, I just really don't like Scholar. I just find it so... I mean, there's a, there's a kind of pragmatic use to it, but it doesn't make a hero stronger in combat. And I, I kind of like all my abilities to be combat related with the exception of logistics. This is a, this is a pretty poor choice. And I've already taken intelligence, which is uh, pretty decent, but I wouldn't normally go for it. That's a bit of a pain. I genuinely am very undecided about this. It, it shouldn't be a tough choice. I mean, there's definitely some advantage to having a backup hero and giving them resurrection. On the other hand, resurrection does not work on the undead. So if our backup army is going to be all necro, I will go for ballistics. Ballistics was like, it was fairly decent in heroes too, it's just that Heroes 3 added lots of really useful other skills like uh, like tactics and offense and armor and all the different schools of magic. In Heroes 2 you'd probably go for ballistics pretty much every time along with luck and leadership, but in Heroes 3 those, those skills are kind of... like they're useful but the opportunity cost is not really worthwhile. So I don't think we want to build anything this turn, I think we want to get a capital next turn. And we're not really threatened. Red's not come through yet. Blue's gone, I'm not surprised by that, so we'll never find out what happened to Isra, I assume he just threw, threw Isra away somewhere. Out of stupidity. Doesn't usually happen, but it does sometimes. Right, let's see what we can see. Okay, we're blocked off by Gogs. Okay, we'll go down here instead. Sharpshooters. Yeah, I think I think this town is pretty well defended. Let's just get the capital. We also get the Dragon Vault, but. Is it even worth the gems? Potentially not. Yeah, you can go grab some harpies. And Jedi, I guess he goes on the offensive. I think we don't get we don't get the Mana Vortex until the start of next week. So there's, I mean, we could wait around for uh, three turns. We're probably reaching the point where we can take on the Magi as well. Teleport the Minotaurs over. But no, that would be fairly heavy losses, and we don't really know what's down there. So, I'd, yeah, we won't do that. Okay, now we should be getting over 8,000 gold per turn. So we should be able to pretty much just bankroll anything we feel like doing. Manticores. Well, it's either manticores or we just buy loads of troglodytes and... Obviously, uh, Manticores is going to be more useful in the long term. On the other hand, we could buy a castle. It's day 7 tomorrow, so we do want to get that. Portal of Summoning could work. Yeah, let's do that. 
Let me buy some more harpies, upgrade them. Beef up the army. Do we want 75 trogs? Are they just gonna die? Probably. <laughs> uh, we could also get a ballista and, uh, hmm. Could send Geon to pick up some war machines. We need ammo carts. I, we definitely need ammo carts. Ballista is potentially counterproductive because if the Medusas should turn an enemy to stone, Ballista could wake them up and is probably not gonna be doing that much damage anyway. And then first aid tent is like, it's, it's nice to have, but rarely actually makes a difference. Okay, we've got all our spell points back. I think... I think we do just make our move now. Can we learn anything about Red? I think Red was the second strongest according to the Thieves Guild. It's got okay heroes. I'm sure that CL there wasn't his strongest hero previously. So maybe he's got multiple decent heroes running around, but... I'm not worried. Let's go take him on. Okay, that's sad. We have to fight them. But do we teleport? It's 15 spell points, which is quite a lot. They must be... no, they're not even faster, they're slower. Yeah, it can't be worth using teleport because... Resurrection only costs one extra spell point and it's, it's far more useful. Magic Arrow though, might be... might be worthwhile. Yeah, let's, let's Magic Arrow just once. Oh, perfect, okay. You just go sit there. Okay, that's fine. That is all good. Okay, so we lost four trogs. It's not really worth <laughs> resurrecting four trogs. Is it worth using magic arrow again? Yeah, let's do it. Resurrect the harpies. That's basically no losses. This is what Jedi does. He just uh, he just steamrolls the field and takes very few losses if you can manage your spell points well enough. Lots of vampires for a, a hill fort. I think hill forts are really strong on Shadow of Death, but I'm uh, I'm not going to do it. Okay, so this changes things. There's lots of dendroid guards. So 
so I'm not actually... I was never as undefended as, as I thought. Let's get something here. Hmm. I don't want to spend wood though. Upgraded mausoleum, yeah, let's go for it. And then potentially can send Nagash out and start doing stuff with him, but... I do want to focus on building up our towns first. Let's just see if there's anything to do here. Okay, so that is actually open to be attacked. Gonna. Where should you go? You should probably go around with, uh, with Jedi. It's gonna take him some time to catch up, but he's, he's a logistics specialist, he'll be alright. Lots of dendroid guards. That's gotta be okay to do. Ooh, okay. That doesn't look good. Let's just see if we can waste some of their time with the trogs. They've got four speed, they're on their native terrain. It's not ideal. And that's the main stack of trogs, so I uh, should actually be walking them away rather than towards the dendroids. Try and wear these down as much as possible. They should take a hit, and then they'll kill them with retaliation. Then these guys can waste a turn. And good. Okay, so the stronger stack has gone back to kill them. going to be a bad idea. I think it should be okay. Hang on. 21 health, yeah, they should be fine. Ah, they run out of shots, okay. Oops, I meant to attack. But that's fine, no losses. Okay, should have run them away.
Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Did use up a few spell points. But not too many. I don't want sorcery either, I just keep getting off with these uh, really not very great abilities. Uh, gold mine. I mean, we're getting even richer. Question is though, what's Red got? He didn't want to take on the dendroids, so that's a good sign. Okay, and we see green as well now. Even on like extremely large maps, it doesn't tend to take very long before you encounter the AI. But yeah, let's definitely grab that, and this is Conflux. I think I probably knew that already. Hmm. Do you want the castle or the manticore there? The, the castle's got to be more useful, right? Manticores are not that great. I'm just wondering now whether to to come back, get some more units, and then attack. That's not a bad defense. Unupgraded water elementals. I don't want to see them getting upgraded. That would be bad. I'm gonna leave the Necro Town B because it's it's day seven and we wanna we wanna build up a few more units at the Dungeon Town at the start of next week. Spell there as well. Thinking about it, well, for one thing, that's extremely close to my main town. That's actually worryingly close. I'm surprised they started us off that close with just, just evil eyes separating us, really. But actually, Orin would go very well in a Conflux town. They've got two really good early shooters in Storm Elementals and Ice Elementals. So if I want a third army, that's another option. I think we will go back because then we can also double our spell points if we just move this guy out. Put him there. Yeah, I think it's it's for the best that we wait till next week. He will refresh his own units, but I just would feel more confident having more units than I do now. I'm, I'm not sure about attacking that. It's going to have the arrow towers as well. I do have ballistics though. This could be the one time that ballistics actually comes in handy. Expert ballistics would actually be very nice in this situation. And that's why I picked it over Scholar, because Scholar is just... I just don't like it on a main hero. It's, I wouldn't pick Alamar if I didn't have to. Maybe in certain circumstances, but not in many. Is this worth going for? Well, no one's about to show up, so let's let's go grab that experience. in the turn. Okay, so red's staying away, which is a good sign. I think we have to stay here overnight, though, or do we? No. Okay, we're good to go. Ah, Mage Guild level 2. We've run out of ore. <laughs> That's really surprising. That seemed to be almost limitless before. It's tempting to go for it, because if we get blind, that would be really good. On the other hand, 
Medusa Queens, I'm sure they have more shots, because four shots is not good for a ranged unit. I mean, Blind would be more useful than Medusa Queens, but Medusa Queens would be more useful than pretty much every other second level spell, so it, I guess it's a question of risk versus reward. And I think I'm going to play on the safe side. Do they have more shots? Yeah, they got twice as many shots. So that's that's quite useful. Although not that useful in a in a siege. But it's fine. We've committed now. We have to we have to go for it. Ah. Can't hotkey that one. Okay, we've got a nice force of harpies. Minotaurs. I thought I could probably afford the whole lot in this turn, but not quite. I was going to send some harpies up from here as well. How much would it cost? They're 130 each, so they would cost about... Only about a thousand, but then I have to upgrade them as well. No. No, I don't want to do it. Also, I could just, I mean, it's not really hero chaining if it's just one hero to another, so... Plus I left... <laughs> I left the beholders behind, whoops. Uh... Yeah, that's fine, okay. We'll get another, another day's worth of units. Plus this guy can catch up now. And he would also be a good hero to use in a Conflux Town. And I never claimed that. <laughs> good thing I looked. I wasn't thinking about that at all. Tell you what, we'll grab this and then we'll come back. Basic air magic. Yeah, I think that's alright. Okay. Red is still staying away, which will take as a, a positive sign. He's got firebirds now, which is bad. But, as of today, the water elementals are still unupgraded. Which helps. Plus, I'm not that worried about firebirds. Really. It probably only has the one if he's just bought the uh, the tower today. Also, it saves me from buying it, which is also obviously very nice if I can go and get it for myself. Uh, let's have a look. you got six harpies with you. You've got a ballista, free ballista. But like I said earlier, the blister could actually be uh, could actually be a bad thing. Hmm. What I could have done actually in hindsight, I could have got the Mage Guild, then upgraded the Medusas this turn, then shuff uh, shuffled them along. Uh, I could have got the Mage Guild last turn. Got the spells and then upgraded the Medusas this turn and then brought them along, but you know, it's it's a minor point, I'm sure it won't prove to be pivotal, I hope. Yeah, let's buy loads of trogs, why not? And a new hero. And he earns us money, so great. <laughs> Income increases. He will pay for himself in 50 turns. He will pay for himself. 
So that's uh, it's not all bad. I will leave you with one Harpy Hag. You can go shuffle along your units. Okay. Here we go. Who will we encounter? I think his main hero's gotta be in there. Okay. So we will attack Ventu very shortly, but uh, I'm going to have to end the part there, so I hope you enjoyed. Do join me again in the next part, when we will be attempting to take out the red player. I'm sure that he doesn't have anything other than this. Clearly his main town. That is not Tavern. Okay, yeah, I think his hero is just going to be waiting for us in that town, so... Should be an interesting fight. We have got, like... 160 spell points, so we can use Resurrect literally 10 times. I think we'll be alright, but we'll see you in the next part, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.